The Rockets on their way to the locker room earlier on, looking to deliver the gift of a big win to the home crowd tonight. Welcome to a special presentation of the NBA on Christmas Day here on 2K Sports. We want to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Pacers. On Tuesday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Houston Rockets. And then on Thursday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Chicago Bulls. And that game against Milwaukee, it's a chance for them to come out and knock off the top dog in the league. A win there can be a big step forward for this team. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. In the post, it's Toppin and Turner. The backcourt pair for them, Halliburton and Brown. And it's healed in at the three spot. And for the Rockets, the pairing up front, Smith and Shengun. The wings, Green and Brooks. And it's Van Vliet into the point guard. Nearing the midway point of the season now, G.A., what do you think is most important for teams to focus on at this point? I think just trying to establish overall continuity. You want to head into the second half of the season with some momentum behind you, as well as just general confidence. Hands it from downtown. Uh, Van Vliet has proven more than capable as a legitimate three-point threat. Knocks down the jump shot there. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. Shoots over Van Vliet. And it's Halliburton missing. Brooks with it. Picked up by Turner. Van Vliet outside. To the middle. Here's Shangun. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Houston has come out of the gates quickly. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, they really snuffed that one out. Didn't execute all that well. Fortunate to walk away with the W. Yeah, but as a team, you actually love a win like that. You're struggling from the field. You don't have your best stuff. Still, you find a way to gut out a win. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Tyrese Halliburton. First team Clearly a foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And really a big factor in their win last time out was his work at the line. Super two. The free throw dropped for Shangu. Greg, remember back when the 22-23 season started and the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Vliet in hopes of stabilizing that roster. Shangun hits them both. Here is something great from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before joining the league. Yeah, that's savviness by Tyrese Halliburton. Gets himself something he can work with, makes the game look easy. Van Vliet against Heel. Out to Brooks. Smith the pass to Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock. Outside Green. Puts up a deep three. From beyond the arc and then some. And shots like this have to fire Green up. Big time three there. Halliburton outside. Inside. 
Brooks against Heald. Here's Turner. And the layup's good off the glass. You can see how comfortable Miles Turner is on the interior. He knows he has the size and length to dominate. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Overheeled. Brooks finds Shangoon. Van Vliet outside. No good from outside. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Toppin sets a screen for Halliburton. For three. Hunkins with the rebound. Outside green. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. And some nice passing there by Houston. Pass to Brooks. Driving inside. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And this is Brooks at his best. Attacking, getting physical with the defense, and finishing on the drive. Halliburton outside. Tapping a screen on Van Vliet. Halliburton with it. Now Smith defending. The shot's Halliburton. good from Halliburton. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy, get a high percentage look, and that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Some solid defense from Brown. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Pass to Turner. Halliburton for three. Rebound by Smith. Rockets leading by five. He kicks it to Green. There's the pass to Shengu. Smith outside. There's the triple. The rebound by Turner. Indiana's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Here's Halliburton. Three-pointer heel. Bangs home the trifecta. Well, these are the types of opportunities his team tries to generate for Buddy Heald. He is just so efficient as a jump shooter. Halliburton against Van Vliet. Passes to Shengu. And it's sent back by Turner. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Turner. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. And here are the Rockets now. Brooks outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Green. Here's Shengu. Well, it was only a matter of time that they finally get the bucket. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Round against Green. Round kicks to Turner. Pass to Toppin. There's Brown with the three, and the Pacers another three. That's just good awareness from top and willing to get it to the open guy immediately. Love the unselfishness. Brooks outside. Shengun with the screen for Brooks. Back to Shengun, and the shot is good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Houston? How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. And that one misses. You know, Greg, one thing you got to admire about Miles Turner is how sensational a shot blocker he is. Every year among the leaders in the NBA. And Kevin, such a dependable defensive 
anchor, someone that just reads shooters well, knows when to go after the block. Here's Brown. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Craig, in terms of the Pacers last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've improved in that regard. That free throw, no good. So we can't get either to fall. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Three-point lead. Brown against Brooks. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. You look at the Rockets. They're eighth in the conference and really looking to improve on the back end of the season. Yeah, right now, though, the Rockets... They're one of those teams that hasn't quite figured it out this year. A lot of talent, a lot of heart, but nothing to put them up on that next level. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. Smith finds Green. Back to Smith. Knocked away. And the turnover again by Houston. Pacers. Here's a look at some of the stats for Tyrese Halliburton. And guys, this effective field goal percentage is trending in the wrong direction over the past five games. Shot discipline hasn't been the best. He'll be looking to play a smarter game tonight. Healed against Brooks. Healed the pass to Halliburton. Down kicks to Halliburton. Dishes it to Heal. Fires high post. Good on the shot. Heal's got five points so far. Well, how about the in-between game? Buddy Heal saying, I'm a three-level scorer, folks. Pass to Shengu. Now the dish to Green. It's Brooks on the wing. Covered by Heal. Back to Green. And the pass to Shengu. And Van Vliet launches it from deep. The Rockets again can't hit. Indiana's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Turner with a screen on Van Vliet. Halliburton passes to Turner. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got three assists in the game. Halliburton against Van Vliet. Pass to Shengu. And Brown over to help. Pass to Brooks. Smith outside. Van Vliet against Turner. And it's sent back by Turner. I'll tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. A moment to check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. A wonderful string of games he's put together here lately. And such a great distributor and decision maker among the top ten in assists per game. And back to what you said, top five in steals this year. Quick hands and, and great anticipation. First free throw is good. Houston making some changes. Tate, he's checked in for Shengu. Tari Eason comes in for Brooks. And it's Thompson in for Green. Neesmith, he's checked in for Indiana. TJ McConnell comes in for Halliburton.
He's perfect from the line this time. Rockets trail by three. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. This game against Indiana, the first time they've met this year. Yeah, and a pair of losses for them in their meetings last season. And the cold hard truth about it, they just had a hard time beating anybody last year. And Indiana making a change here. Bathrooms checked in. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard for the past 10 games. These teams have been fantastic on rebounding. In second, the Rockets. What a show of strength in terms of rebounding. I mean, they've really controlled the glass here of late, playing with some extreme physicality. the Rockets with the ball. It's a three-point game. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. Rockets have made two of the previous three free throws in today's game. Shots. And the first one drops. Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. And so Thompson nails both of them. For Indiana, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field to begin the game. Halliburton passes to Turner. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Turner's got six points. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. against McConnell. Poked away and stolen by McConnell. Outside Matherin. Pass to McConnell. Now the pass to Halliburton. Off target from three-point range. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. Shot by Eason. No good. Pacers leading by three. Halliburton outside. Off target from outside. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Tate with the screen for Thompson. And it's Matherin with the rebound. And Matherin has got the ball here for Indiana. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. Well, what did them in was all the missed free throws. It could have been a much different outcome. I thought the frustration at the line was evident. And it makes it easy on the defense when you're not capitalizing once they put you at the free throw line. Barry's the long-range jumper. And the Pacers lead by six. This young man has such confidence. Benedict Matherin right at the buzzer of that shot clock. Nicely done. Smith outside. Van Vliet against McConnell. Van Vliet passes to Smith. Right on the bucket. Don't just show off that basketball IQ, Mr. Fred Van Vliet. Pretty pass, sir. A minute 20 left to play here in the first. They don't make many guards to them doors as fiery as Fred Van Bleet. They don't, Kevin. He has had to scrap and claw and earn every piece of real estate in the NBA. At six foot one, he's undersized. But what we know unequivocally, he can command an offense, and he's a big-time shot maker when it counts. And guess what? He's going to dig it out defensively, too. You have to admire Fred Van Bleet. Thompson for three. Hits the three-point bomb. And now just a one-point facial lead 
defensively, you have to live with Thompson making those because if you get up too close at the arc, Amon will blow right by you. The shot's good from Halliburton. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Tate with the screen for Thompson. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And Thompson letting his athleticism take over there as he was bumped. Houston shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. So for the Rockets, Shengun comes in for Smith, and Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And Indiana with a change here, too. Jackson, he's checked in for Turner. Thompson no good on the free throw. Indiana leading. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Jackson a screen on Easton. Halliburton for three. Chengun with the rebound. Out to the right wing. Down low. Stolen by Jackson. From way outside, and still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Pacers lead by one, and the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. to NBA action, a great tradition, Christmas Day basketball, here on 2K Sports. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Indiana. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. They've got Tari Eason, Jayshon Tate out there with Alperin Shangoon. And it's Thompson, and it's Holiday in at the shooting guard. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Holiday, the pass to Shangoon. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Matherin against Eason. Here's the teardrop, and it goes down two points. Now it's a five-point Indiana lead. Boy, Matherin needs to become more efficient, but that floater right there is on point. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Pacers are forming chemistry. Tyrese Halliburton said in recent years, they were saying the locker room was quiet, but it's not many conversations. We've tried to impact the culture and create a different atmosphere. It's genuine. We appreciate and love each other. We want to see each other succeed and prove people wrong. Kevin? Deanne, oh, you agree with me. They are on their way. Now here is Holiday. Still without a basket. Shang Hyun finds Thompson. Good on the three-point shot. Come in. Thompson. And Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Passes it to Matherin. McConnell in the corner. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. I see it. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that long? 
Thompson dishes to Holiday. Over Halliburton. Count it, and the Pacer lead has been cut down to just two points in the bucket from Holiday. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, uh, and the rules might have helped some. I mean, there is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before. Now here's Thompson following the miss by Isaiah Jackson. Nice shot by Thompson. Thompson's got 12 points in the game. And this one has been all about Amin Thompson, a, a freakish athlete. When he gets rolling, there's just not much a defender can do. And stolen by Shangun. Jackson, and Jackson throws it down hard. Jackson. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. It's still close, though. These teams have been neck and neck. Let's see the response here. And they're just doomed if they keep letting them post up like that. You've got to deny the position to afford them no opportunity at making that entry pass into the post. Halliburton for three. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got three assists in the game. Pass to Shengun. A shot, no good. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Halliburton passes to McConnell. It's good. And now a five-point facer lead. Halliburton's vision and then the ability to thread the needle there makes the defense pay. McConnell against Thompson. Tate a screen on McConnell. It's Thompson off the drive. The Pacers have gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Catherine passes to Neesmith. Rockets with the rebound. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Matherin with some nice defense. Indiana leading by five. Inside. And Thompson sends it back. Holiday up top. He's covered by McConnell. Pass to Tate. Trying to find Shangun. He gets it to him. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. McConnell kicks to Jackson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And this is a good time to show you some of the league's most disruptive defenders over the past month. The steel leaders of the small forward. You look at Eason. Such quick hand. Second in the NBA. I mean, if you're an opposing small forward, this could also be called a list of the league's most annoying players. I mean, they will be in your jersey all night when you're up against them. Yeah, defense a huge point of emphasis for each of them. And it doesn't matter whether they're on the ball, as the steals suggest, or off the ball situations either. They are as active a group of defenders as you're going to see. So for the Rockets, Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for Jayshon Tate. Brooks comes in for Jari Eason. And Jalen Green subbed in for Aaron Holiday. Indiana also making some changes. Miles Turner, he's jacked in for Neesman. Toppin comes in for Benedict Matherin. And it's Bruce Brown in for T.J. McConnell. And so he makes both from the line. Rockets trail by five. Green taking his time here. Shengun with a screen on Brown. Green, no luck. Indiana's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Toppin can't get it to go. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Green, no luck. Pacers leading by five. Now Toppin, still yet to score. Halliburton outside. Five on the clock. 
And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, the athleticism that Miles Turner brings to the center spot is quite remarkable. This guy, an exceptional player on both sides of the floor. The Bays are shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for Jackson. He's off on the second. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by six. And the there's the foul. foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Red Van Vliet comes in for Thompson. Heald's checked in for the Pacers. Van Vliet passes to Tate. Smith kicks to Green. Some nice passing there by Houston. Tate, no good. Indiana leading by six. The pass to Brock. Back to Matherin. Pass to Turner. And so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here. Four on the clock. Here's Brown. Well, there's no question that Fred Van Vliet's competitive toughness, his desire, and the defense is what has given him a shot to be a legit NBA force. He had a nice open look right there. Smith's got five points so far. And when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. It's stolen by Smith. Here's Van Vliet. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. And it's now only a one-point pacer lead. And, you know, the more you watch Smith, the more you marvel at his feel for the game. Heel dishes to Brown. Turner with a screen on Van Vliet. Matherin for three. Hits it from three-point range. Eight points for him. Well, Benedict Matherin not shy at all from the three-point line. And Doris, you watch the defenses try to corral Benedict Matherin. He always seems to have an answer, doesn't he? He does, Kevin. This guy knocks down jumpers in a variety of ways, whether it's off the bounce, catch-and-shoot situations. His mechanics are clean. He's confident. And, boy, he is aggressive. Jeff Green has checked in for Houston. Pacers leading by four. Here's Brown. He has five. Healed outside. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Now here's Brooks. Over Matherin. And it's Houston with another one. If you're the D, you live with that. Brooks just sinking a very difficult and contested shot. At the top of the key, Turner. He feeds it to Heal. Out to Turner. Healed against Green. Shot clock at five. Let's it fly. Heal can't hit. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Outside, Green. Green with a screen for Green. Over Toppin. And with that shot, the Indiana leads cut down to just three in the basket from Green. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. On its way from Turner for two. Green with the rebound. All alone from mid-range. They know he won't miss many of those. Smith sets the pick for Green to the paint. 
And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. And while perimeter play might be Smith's calling card, he does have the size to do damage inside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Taken third overall in 2022. Smith, instead of trying to take the league by storm, he was looking for ways to fit in within the system. And that's what coaches love about players like him. Shengun's checked in for Green. And the Pacers also making a change. Halliburton's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Indiana's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Healed outside. Beyond the arc. Another shot. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. He shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one. Jeff Green has checked in for Alperin Shengu. And so it's Houston with it. Van Vliet with it. Five points in the game. And here is Green. Brooks outside. Pocket six. Back to Green. Fires the three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 11 rebounds in the game. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of ball. To the inside. The kick out to Brown. Turner looking around. Three-pointer heel. Rebound by Jeff Green. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. Brown against Green. Shoots over Brown. Green, no luck. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Healed against Brooks. Pass to Toppin. Brown outside. Poked loose. It's stolen by Smith. Brooks, the pass to Green. And Green slams it in. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up the road. Pass to Turner. Turner with a screen on Van Vliet. Halliburton for three. Trains the three-pointer. Halliburton. Halliburton's got three 13. Points. Boy, he's putting pressure on the defense. That's two from downtown this period. Rockets trail by six. Outside, Green. Kicks it to Green. Van Vliet, outside. Twenty-four seconds left in the first half. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Round the pass to Halliburton. a screen on Van Vliet. Halliburton for three. And Indiana, another three. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spaces. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. And so it's the Indiana Pacers in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. 
Rick, what's your analysis of how your defense has done so far? Well, they're getting too many open looks and threes. We're lucky they're missing a few. Uh, you know, with this team, they stretch out so much, you got to be really alert. you got to pay close attention to the details. Rick, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome in for halftime. And what's on tap, you ask? I can answer that. So far, it's been a nice outing for the Indiana Pacers. And a bit of a gear switch here. Shaq, you are currently trending online right now. Fans are demanding you try your hand in a hot dog eating contest. Oh, Ernie, I actually would like to see this happen as well. I bet some of these guys would humble you, Shaq. Come on now, stop it. It wouldn't be fair. I'd be putting up Wilt Chamberlain numbers as a rookie contestant. Well, the key is being able to stretch your stomach, I've heard. Yours is already stretched from the post-Laker days, though. Nope. Moving on. In that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the Indiana Pacers. They look like they attended the shooting school of Dr. Onilovich. Great touch from the perimeter. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm not exactly sure that school is accredited, Shaq. We'll have uh, somebody from research check it out. I know there's not a free throw academy. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. So it's the Pacers now on the court for Indiana. The backcourt pair for them, Halliburton and Brown. In the post, it's Toppin and Turner. And it's healed in a thicker spot. And Halliburton slams it in. And just one of those nights for Tyrese Halliburton. He's kept his foot on the accelerator, and he's putting it to the defense. The pass to Green. Shot clock at six. Shengun with a screen on Brown. And Green gets it to go. And what you just love about Green, a guy who works with or without the ball, can break you down in so many ways. Now, here's Halliburton. Passes to heel. He kicks it to Turner. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Shingoon's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Van Vliet. Shingoon against Turner. Shingoon with the bucket. Shingoon's got 14 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Now, here's Tuffer. Hasn't made one yet. Three-pointer heel. And Indiana, another three. Well, Heald always has the green light from behind the arc. This guy's so efficient. That's to Shengu. He dishes it to Green. Back to Shangoon. Outside Green. Tapping against Smith. And here's Green outside. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. The Pacers are a team on the rise, and their point guard, Tyrese Halliburton, has a lot to do with that. Coach Rick Carlisle said his will to win is spectacular for a young player. He's the motor, the engine who drives our team. When people look and say we're fun to watch, he's the head of the snake. He sets the tone for that in a big way. Kevin? In a big way. High praise. Hey, David, thank you. On 
the free throw. No good. It's always fun to watch a young player like Obi Toppin adapt to the lead. He has done a really good job rising to the challenge of NBA-level play. Shen Goon with a screen on heel. And Shen Goon throws it down. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. A three ball. Rockets with the rebound. shengun has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Brooks against Teal. Brooks outside. Shengun with a screen on heel. Nice shot by Smith. And every team wants long guys who can also make three. Smith checks both boxes. And here's Heal. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. They've led by as many as 11 points. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. And it's slammed in by Turner. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Here's Green following the score by Indiana. And it's Brooks in the corner. Time to find Shangoon. He gets it to him. And it's sent back by Turner. Van Vliet against Teal. And there's the pass to Halliburton. Turner inside. It's deflected. Now here's Green. Eight points for him. Van Vliet kicks to Green. Some nice passing there by Houston. Van Vliet with it. And it's Toppin picking him up. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That's foul number two for him. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Find Smith. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Just five to shoot. There's Green with the three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Yeah, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Passes it to Brown. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on Jalen Green. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Hey, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pacers. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. First one falls for him. them both. Rockets trail by seven. Now Van Vliet. He's got five. The feed to Smith. Lets it fly from 18. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got five assists in the game. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. Healed outside. Halliburton against Van Vliet. Shot clock at five. Toppin sets a screen for Brown. From outside the arc, gets the three-pointer to fall. 
Toppin's got five points so far. The very definition of a stretch four. Toppin is a knockdown shooter, so vital for the spacing to his basketball team. Now here's Brooks. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Pacers foul. Miles Turner. First personal foul. Rockets have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. First free throw is good. And there's a flexibility to Brooks's game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high usage guy. Really depends on what a team needs from night to night. And both free throws good for Brooks. Pacers leading by six. Halliburton outside. Peeled outside. Or the three. And Indiana, another three. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. We know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Shingun. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got six assists in the game. Halliburton outside. Shot by Heald. Nobody around. No good on the triple. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Doris amongst the best we've ever seen from the Bahamas, Buddy Heald. Really think about it, Kevin. Buddy Heal, DeAndre Ayton, Ty Jones. We're seeing a few very successful men. And let's not forget about John Paul Jones, MVP in the WNBA. She grew up training with Heal in the Bahamas. Brooks misses. And Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana. They've led by as many as 11 points. Heal the pass to Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Brown outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Rockets trail by seven. Smith gets to Shangoon. Here's Green. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. Tate, he's checked in for the Rockets. And Indiana with a change here, too. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Halbert. Green. One shot. And once the G League took it to another level, Green skipped college, became the number two overall pick of the draft. And that's really changed the landscape. So the Pacers called timeout, their first of the game. has checked in. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Alperin Shangun. He's really made that a focus of his game these past few years, and it's paid big-time dividends for him. He's become a much better rebounder, and it's increased his value as a player by leaps Bruce and bounds. Rockets trail by six. Blake deciding where to go with it. Pass to Shengu. Dishes it to Brooks. Green against Brown. And there it is for him. Green's got 11 points here in just the second half. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. The pass to Brown. 
back to heel. Some nice passing here by Indiana. McConnell gets to Toppin. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Toppin's got eight here in the quarter. Well, big men like Toppin need to shoot from range, and he's showing he's got tremendous touch. And Voigt with the bounce pass. Shingu, no good. Pacers leading by seven. Passes it to McConnell. And there's a whistle. That goes on Dylan Brooks. That's foul number two for him. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Jackson, he's checked in for the Pacers. On defense, Houston. Brown outside. His three pointers off the mark. It's trail by seven. Outside green. Shengun with a screen on Brown. Sinks the three pointer. Green's got 19 points. I really like the way he's playing in this half. He looks so much more aggressive and confident. And played against McConnell. And stolen by Shengu. And here we go with Brooks running it up the court. And the rejection by Jackson. Remain. So for the Rockets, Tari Eason's checked in for Dylan Brooks. It's Thompson in for Green. And Indiana making a change here. and passes to Van Vliet. Tate with the screen for Van Vliet. The Rockets with another miss. Indiana lead by four. Two minutes. To the middle. Here's Matherin. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. First personal foul. Matherin, one of those guys who wants to deliver as many blows as he absorbs, draws the foul there. The Pacers have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. The Rockets making a switch here. Holiday's checked in. Halliburton's checked in for Indiana. Benedict Matherin. This guy is a talented, aggressive scorer. His ceiling very high. He's going to have to be a little more efficient. Now here is Holiday. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Shengun with a screen on Halliburton. Thompson passes to Shengun. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Shengun's got 20. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Halliburton outside. Jackson sent the pick here for Halliburton. And Jackson throws it down hard. What you love about Halliburton is in pick and roll action. He always knows where to put the pass to make it easy on his teammate. Thompson finds Tate. Shengun with the screen for Tate. Pass to Eason. In the corner, Tate with it. Clock is at three. Thompson from long range. That's it. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Here's Nemhard. He has yet to score. The 11-footer, Halliburton, that's good. Halliburton. And the Pacers lead by six. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high-percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Now here is Holiday inside. Out of bounds, Indiana takes possession. Indiana ball. Pacers leading by six. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the third. Halliburton with it. He's got 20. 
Six on the shot clock. Jackson a screen on Thompson. Halliburton for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Halliburton's got 23 points. A remarkable three-point shooter out of the gates in his NBA career. Tyrese Halliburton, let him hear you. And so it's Indiana in control with the nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Sean Tate out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Thompson. Then it's Alperin Shangoon. And it's Holiday in at the two guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Eason against Matherin. Shangoon kicks to Thompson. From beyond the arc, rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Halliburton outside. Indiana moving it around. Jackson setting the pick here for Halliburton. On the mark with the 15-footer. Halliburton's got the lead up to 11 now for the Pacers. Wherever he's gone, the shot has followed. Halliburton perfecting his craft in the mid-range. Thompson passes to Shengu. And the rejection by Jackson. And they're running. And Halliburton slams it in. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Here's Thompson. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Jackson against Shingun. Jackson passes to Matherin. Over Eason. And again, it's Indiana converting. Yeah, Matherin is a force inside. He can power you down or he can get around you in a hurry. Halliburton against Thompson. Pass to Shengu. Over Jackson. And the shot is long. And Matherin has got the ball here for Indiana. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And Jackson throws it down hard. The assist. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Now here is Holiday. And the pass to Thompson. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Pacers leading by 15. Atherin passes to Jackson. Can't hit from in close. Rockets have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of this is just the one make. Thompson in the corner. Now Easton. Tate finds Thompson. There's the lob to the hook. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for Aaron Holiday. The Pacers also with a sub. Turner's checked in for Jackson. That free throw good from Eason. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? 
During that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. Told them, pedal to the metal. Adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. Start celebrating in your head when there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, David. It's trailed by 12. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. From 10 feet out, Smith the pass to Easton. Here's Thompson to the paint. Stolen away. Halliburton against Thompson. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And staying connected to the shooter, Smith has elite defensive tools. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. Indiana leading by 12. Halliburton outside. There's a screen. The Rockets pull it in. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Tate the pass to Thompson. Over Halliburton. Another miss by Houston. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. Now, here's Neesmith. Covered by Smith. And Turner kicks to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Thompson. Here's Halliburton. Count it. Halliburton's got six in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Tate with the screen for Thompson. Passes to Tate. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Tate's only got his first points of the game. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Shengun against Halliburton. Turner passes to Neesmith. Halliburton for three. Thompson with the rebound. It's trailed by 12. Takes the ball. Oh! Thompson. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. And here's Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Thompson. Halliburton kicks to Turner. Well, how about the ability to get that defender to bite on the pump fake? Turner so effective at getting guys to Shooting leave the ground. Indiana. Miles Turner, two shots. And he makes the first. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Houston making some changes. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Jayshon Tate. Green comes in for Tari Eason. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. All three throws good from Turner. And right now at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Green against Brown. Shen Goon with a screen on Brown. Green. The rebound by Turner. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Leading by 12. Here's Halliburton. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. The dish to Green. Shengun takes the three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Halliburton outside.
laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Halliburton's got 15 points in just the second half. It's trailed by 14. Outside, Green for three. Van Fleet. Good. Great play by Green to shut it up. Rise and fire in the catch and shoot. Fred Van Fleet ready and willing. Healed against Brooks. And that's good. Buddy Healed for three. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. There's Green with the three. Some solid defense from Brown. Pacers leading by 14. Halliburton outside. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Halliburton's got 33. One thing I love about Tyrese Halliburton, this guy willing to mix it up down low. He doesn't say, I'm going to settle for jumpers. I'm coming right at you. Oh, here's Van Vliet. Good on the triple. Van Vliet's got six in the quarter. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Round against Green. To the inside. Good work defensively by Turner. Indiana's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Pass to Halliburton. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. Launches a three. Rockets with the rebound. Shingoons. Now here's Green. Van Vliet outside. Shingoon passes to Van Vliet. Five to shoot. Smith for three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And he's got confidence to let it go from anywhere beyond the arc, whether it's the corner or up top. Smith makes a defense work. Now here's Turner. Brown outside. That's good, and it's Halliburton with the assist. Three. Halliburton's got nine assists in the game. Great passer. Van Vliet against Halliburton. with the screen for Green. Over Turner. And again, the Rockets good for two. When Green goes up for that mid-range jumper, he gets way up in the air. Makes it very difficult to contest. Now, here is Halliburton. Floats one up. Rebound by Smith. Rockets trail by 13. From deep, Green... It's hauled in by Brown. Indiana's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Halliburton is double. Stolen by Brooks. Van Vliet attacking. It's stolen by Brown. Down low. Here's Turner. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. 16 points for Miles Turner. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now, here's Green. Shingun with a screen on Brown. Shingun with the bucket. Shingun's got 10 points here in the second half. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Van Vliet against Halliburton. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. That's good from Halbert. 
And Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League Ignite or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. A superb scorer and a talented distributor, Tyrese Halliburton is exactly the type of point guard every team would love to have. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Indiana. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Tyrese Halliburton. Well, unselfish basketball. His ability to create for others has been the story of this game. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. 17-point lead, their biggest. Problem for Indiana as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But the way they control the game and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Tyrese Halliburton.